okay so let us continue our discussion on like uh, syntax analysis by going through some of the terminologies we use in uh, par in parsing technology so the first definition is what we call as a derivation suppose for a context free grammar i have two productions so let the productions be a is b uh, sorry a is a b capital b and small c and the production for capital b which is another non terminal is lower case b okay now the question is can i generate the string abc okay by using these two productions the answer is yes and how i will proceed to do that uh, i'll start with the starting non terminal a okay and i will apply the first production and replace the starting non terminal a by a capital b c then i will again apply the second production or the rule on the non terminal capital b and i will arrive at a small b small c so this process of so let me write it down the process of generating the string of terminals from starting non terminal of a grammar is called derivation okay so mathematically uh we write it uh, we write the derivation like this we start with the starting non terminal a and apply one or more rules to get this a b c okay okay now this derivation can be of two types okay so one is called leftmost derivation so to understand what is a leftmost derivation i will uh, give you the uh, same example which uh, i had given earlier so for an expression category of a high level programming language suppose i have the following rules expr is plus expr okay expr is expr minus expr so here expression is my non terminal okay expression can be expression into expression okay or expression can be a simple identifier where this identifier is what is a terminal or a token okay so with suppose with these four simple rules of the grammar i need to derive i need to generate the string id plus id into id okay so what we need to do so how will i generate this string so we'll start so here the only non terminals that is used in the entire grammar in the all the productions of the grammar is expression and i can clearly assume that my starting non terminal will also be expression so i'll start with the expression okay and apply the first rule for derivation that is expr plus expr now in case of leftmost derivation what we do we generally apply the production or the rules of the grammar on the leftmost non terminal first okay so so i will apply on the leftmost non terminal expr so what it what it will be so suppose let me number it down 1 2 3 4 
4 so this is by applying production 1 okay now now I have to apply on the leftmost non-terminal EXPR so in order to generate ID plus ID into ID I have to use the fourth production to replace the leftmost non-terminal expression by ID and continue okay so I will say apply 4 then what I need to do I need to expand this the leftmost production uh, non-terminal is now this one so I will apply the third rule to replace the non-terminal EXPR by EXPR into expression okay and this is by third and then I will replace I will again apply the fourth production to replace the leftmost expression that is ID into expression and now I will apply again the fourth production on the leftmost non-terminal and I will replace it by ID so in this way by applying the productions of the grammar on the leftmost non-terminal I can generate the string ID plus ID into ID okay so leftmost derivation is nothing but you just has to replace the leftmost non-terminal by a production okay now what is a rightmost derivation then now for rightmost derivation what do you have to do so just a minute so for so for a rightmost derivation how I would have proceeded is I would have taken first the uh, apply the production 1 to replace expression by expression plus expression okay but instead of applying to the leftmost non-terminal I will I will apply it to the rightmost non-terminal okay and hence how it will look like so so it will be expression plus expression into expression okay so by applying apply 3 so in a rightmost derivation after applying the production 1 I am applying the uh, rule number 3 or production 3 okay then I will again substitute the rightmost thing so it will be expression plus expression into ID okay by applying 4 then I'll again apply this thing expression plus ID into ID and again I'll uh, I'll do I'll replace the rightmost thing now this non-terminal expression and it will be ID plus ID into ID okay so these are the two concepts of leftmost and rightmost derivations okay now let us uh, define another concept called so based on these derivations leftmost and rightmost derivations we uh, generally cre uh, create what we call as a derivation tree okay so what is a derivation tree so so in syntax analysis we have already told you that uh, uh, this derivation tree has several names one is called parse tree also it is called as abstract syntax tree or it is also called as derivation tree so it is basically a tree like data structure okay where the starting non terminal is my root node okay now so let me write it down so starting non terminal is the root node of the tree okay every vertex of the tree
is a terminal or it can be a non terminal but with the constraint that every leaf node has to be a terminal okay terminal so now let us just quickly see how i will represent it id plus id into id through a derivation tree okay so i will start with the starting non terminal and and my starting non terminal was expression okay so expression i substituted by expression plus and expression okay then i apply the leftmost uh, derivation and apply it and i got it as id okay then on the another non terminal i again apply this is again expression into expression okay and this is again id and this is again id so this is the abstract syntax tree or the derivation tree we obtained by applying the productions and we just created this tree like data structure okay so this is what we will do in the entire course of parsing okay in syntax analysis the main aim is to create this data structure okay thanks